What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Prairie Artisan Ales and they're out of Krebs, Oklahoma. And this is their Double Dunk. So this is an Imperial Stout that they're brewing with Oreo cookies. Comes in at 11.9% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This beer is just under four months old. So I have not reviewed a beer from Prairie on the channel. So this is the first beer that I am reviewing from them. And Prairie, I usually enjoy their stuff. Sometimes they're hit or miss. Uh, most of their stuff is quite expensive though. You're talking about a 12 ounce bottle. Usually, depending on what beer it is, it'll uh, some fall somewhere in like the eight to $14 range. Their Prairie Bomb is obviously, obviously like their flagship beer and that's usually in like the eight, $9 range. But a lot of their crazier beers can be 12 or $14. So you're talking about a dollar per ounce, which is expensive. Uh, so sometimes I don't always buy their beer, but I usually enjoy what they release. But anyway, this beer specifically, I heard a lot about it when it was first released. And uh, I was like, you know what, I'll probably pick it up at some point. But then I saw um, a couple uh, fellow beer tubers, Kyle over at No Hype Beer Reviews and all the things formerly known as the Beardiful review it and they were both digging it. And then some local friends here were like, yeah, it's pretty damn good. So I actually found this, I think it was $10. So not too bad. And I was like, you know what? I'll give it a go. So here we are. So they actually uh, conditioned this on 700 pounds of Oreo cookies per batch, which sounds like a shit ton of Oreos. So I'm hoping that this is delicious. I guess we'll see. The only way to enjoy it properly though, put it in the hashtag proper glass where we got the prairie glass going on here today. So should be fun. Anyway, let's give it a pour here. Okay, not gonna go too crazy, about halfway. <clears throat> All right, so first off, that pours out a beautiful, pretty much black color. Has about a finger, maybe just under a finger of a dark brown head. Looks very creamy, tightly compact bubbles. There are some bigger bubbles, but it, it looks very creamy. It looks proper. There are, a, <laughs> wow, there's a ton of alcohol legs on the side. 11.9%, uh, kind of expect that. Anyway, looks beautiful in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. So this has been out of the fridge I don't, I always mention that, like this has been out of the fridge. This is basically room temperature right now, like lower 60s, low, low to mid 60s, like 63 to 65. So it's appropriate. And definitely getting a uh, cookie vibe to this one. Could I tell you there are Oreos in here? No, but it has like a nice vanilla, almost creamy like lactose vibe to the nose. But then like, you know, chocolate cookie, like a just generic chocolate cookie as well. Definitely smells sweet, very, very sweet. Yeah, a lot of sweet chocolate, like Hershey's Special Dark. Some like roasted into burnt malt character too. There's a there's a pretty huge roastiness to the nose. Definitely vanilla. Oh, now on that last one, hang on, let me go back. Yeah, so the last two, as this is opening up in the glass, the last two uh, whiffs I got of this one, definitely Oreo cookies. Yeah, 100% Oreo cookie. So this smells like a sweeter pastry stout, which is basically what it is. So it actually smells quite delicious. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. That's fucking delicious. Wow. Yeah, that's good. I cannot tell you this is over 10% at all. The fact that it's almost 12 is kind of scary. Now, hang on. Let me roll back a little bit. Just let me just... Just like 20 seconds, 25 seconds. I am getting a bit of warming, which is crazy, right away through the chest into the stomach. But on the palate, nah. Yeah, this is probably straight up. Uh, it's not quite full body, but it's like medium full. It's fine. It is technically a bit thin, Paul and Eric Gilbert, but not really. I mean, it's fine. It does have a nice creaminess to the mouthfeel. But there's enough carbonation to kind of let you know it is a beer still. But the flavor is ton, like tons of Oreo cookies. Now, would I be able to tell you this is specifically Oreo cookies if I did this blind? Probably not, but I would guess this is a pastry stout. There's a lot of vanilla. There's a lot of sweet chocolate. Now, I said sweet, like Hershey's special dark chocolate. This is like straight, straight on. There's like sweet chocolate, like milk chocolate. A lot of vanilla. I would think there was lactose in here if I was doing it blind. There isn't, but I just from... I don't know, is there lactose in the cream filling of an Oreo? Probably, I don't know. But I, there's there's definitely like a lactose sweetness to this one. As it passes through the palate, it's just sweet, sweet, and more sweet. Finishes quite sweet. Uh, there's a little bit of dryness from the alcohol. Uh, one of the few um, signs that this is actually a bigger beer. But for the most part, 
I could not tell you this is 11.9%. I would guess, like I said, maybe nine, nine and a half, ten 10 range. No, no higher than 10, uh, which is scary when you're thinking about it. Really, it is. Yeah, this is, this is really good. Uh, it is a bit too sweet for me overall. It is, luckily I'm sharing this uh, 12 ounce bottle because even with just 12 ounces of this, I think I only wanna drink about half of this. That's all I want, it is too sweet. By the end of this bottle, if I drank the entire thing, it'd be cloying and I think I'd be kind of sick of it. But this is like a sharing beer. Uh, if you bust this open, share it with a couple friends, four ounces is probably enough for everybody. It's a novelty item, but it's a delicious novelty item. Uh, so rating for Double Dunk from Prairie, I'm gonna give this a straight 4.5 out of five. It's very tasty, albeit a bit too sweet. And uh, there's not a lot of complexity. It's basically the Oreo cookies in an Imperial Stout. There's a lot of chocolate, a lot of vanilla from that cookie. The beer gets, I, I would say the base beer, another reason why I'm not, not giving it a higher rating, like you care. Uh, but another reason that I don't think it's like amazing into like world-class territory is because a lot of the base stout character gets lost. I know that chocolate can be from the stout, even the vanilla, but like that roasty, almost burnt charred note I was getting from the malt in the nose did not carry over. This is just Oreo cookie through and through, which again is delicious, but it's kind of, I don't want to say one note, but a few, it's only like a few notes in here. And there's nothing wrong with that if they're delicious, which this is, but it's just kind of stopping it from being like world-class for me. Regardless, if you see this on the shelves even now when i post this it's be about four months old pick it up especially if you can get it under 10 bucks well worth it so anyway that was double dunk prairie artists and ales 4.5 out of 5 delicious beer if you've had this one let me know what you think and until the next one cheers